ever wondered how the wings of an airplane dance with the wind, bending and flexing like a symphony in motion? This delicate balance between air and structure is not just a marvel of nature. It's the heartbeat of engineering genius. Welcome to the breathtaking world of aeroelasticity, where physics, art, and innovation collide. As we soar over the iconic Iguazu Falls, let's explore how this intricate dance keeps airplanes safe, efficient, and in perfect harmony with the skies. From natural wonders to the wonders of human ingenuity, let's uncover the secrets behind the dance between air and structure. Get ready to take flight, because this journey is just beginning. Aeroelasticity is the study of how aerodynamic forces, structural elasticity, and inertial effects interact. It is a critical field in aerospace engineering, ensuring that aircraft and spacecraft perform safely and efficiently. Let's break it down. Imagine an airplane soaring through the sky. As it moves, it encounters air resistance, what we call aerodynamic forces. These forces push and pull on the airplane's wings, body, and control surfaces, shaping how it moves through the air. Now, airplanes aren't rigid blocks. They're made of materials that can bend and flex under pressure. This flexibility is known as structural elasticity. For example, when wind flows over a wing, the wing might bend slightly upward or twist, a completely natural response to the forces acting on it. But that's not all. Airplanes also have mass, and when they move, inertia comes into play. Inertial effects are the tendency of the airplane's components to resist changes in motion. Think of how a car leans when you take a sharp turn. That's inertia at work. Now, here's where it gets fascinating. Aeroelasticity studies how all three of these forces, aerodynamic forces, structural elasticity, and inertial effects work together. For instance, when an airplane wing bends, it changes how air flows over it, which then changes the aerodynamic forces. These forces might cause the wing to bend even more or oscillate. If these interactions aren't carefully controlled, they could lead to problems like flutter, which is a dangerous vibration, or divergence, where a wing bends too far to recover. But aeroelasticity isn't just about preventing failure. It's also about optimizing aircraft design making planes more efficient, lighter, and safer. Engineers use this understanding to ensure that airplanes, spacecraft, and even large structures like bridges perform perfectly under all kinds of conditions. Have you ever wondered how a wing bends and flexes during flight, or why some designs fail under stress? Let me give you some examples. In 1940, the Tacoma Narrows Bridge became a cautionary tale in engineering. Known as Galloping Gertie, it twisted violently in the wind and collapsed due to a phenomenon called aeroelastic flutter. Though it wasn't an airplane, the principles of flutter, an unstable interaction between aerodynamic forces and structural elasticity, became a critical lesson for aviation engineers worldwide. The Boeing 787 redefined resilience in aircraft design. Engineers pushed its composite material wings to their breaking point, bending them over 150% of their maximum stress capacity. This controlled failure proved the strength and flexibility of composite materials, ensuring stability and safety even under extreme aerodynamic forces. The de Havilland Comet, the world's first commercial jetliner, suffered a series of catastrophic failures in the 1950s. These disasters, caused by stress concentrations and metal fatigue, highlighted the dangers of overlooking aerodynamic forces and structural elasticity. The tragedy led to advancements in material science and stress testing, shaping the future of aviation safety. That's the magic and challenge of aeroelasticity. Let's dive deeper. Aeroelasticity can be divided into two main categories, static and dynamic. Static aeroelasticity focuses on deformations that remain steady under a given set of forces, like divergence, where a wing bends excessively under load, or control surface reversal, where pilot input does the opposite of what's intended. Dynamic aeroelasticity, on the other hand, deals with oscillations, 
flutter, a potentially catastrophic vibration, and buffeting, the turbulence-induced shaking of structures are key concerns here. Aeroelasticity is influenced by several factors. Structural properties like material stiffness and the shape of the aircraft play a significant role. Aerodynamic forces such as lift and drag also interact with these structures. Finally, inertial effects. How the mass is distributed can tip the balance, leading to stable or unstable behavior. Designing for aeroelasticity involves rigorous testing, often in wind tunnels or through advanced computational simulations. Engineers apply these principles to fighter jets for agility, commercial aircraft for efficiency, and even wind turbines for sustainability. Advances like composite materials and adaptive control systems have revolutionized how we manage aeroelastic challenges. As we look to the future, challenges remain. Aeroelasticity models are complex, often requiring nonlinear analysis and coupled simulations. AI and machine learning are emerging as powerful tools for predicting and mitigating aeroelastic risks. The integration of aeroelasticity with aero servoelasticity and thermo aeroelasticity opens doors to new possibilities in aircraft design. All of these concepts will be explained in the future videos. Aeroelasticity is where science meets art balancing forces to create safe, efficient, and innovative designs. Whether you're an engineer, student, or enthusiast, understanding aeroelasticity is essential for shaping the future of aerospace. Stay curious and keep exploring. Together, we can keep exploring, learning, and soaring to new heights. Until next time, fly safe and dream big.